Ben Cousins has spent a second day in Armidale Hospital after a bizarre confrontation with police. Tracy Vo, what's the latest on his condition? Well, Tim, the Brownlow medalist is still here under police guard. He was taken here yesterday afternoon after a bizarre incident uh, in Canningvale. He tried to outrun police and was arrested. The hospital isn't giving uh, any uh, much information out about his condition. Uh, he is undergoing a mental health assessment and the word is from our sources that he's displaying signs of psychosis. Three weeks of bizarre behaviour from a fallen football star. Ben Cousins has tried to outrun police through Canningvale, led them on a low-speed chase from Bicton to Mosman Park and even broke into the SAS barracks in Swanbourne. Nine News has been told the former footballer was suffering hallucinations in hospital this morning, having a long conversation with his breakfast. Typically if someone's been using about seven days, ten days, they will go into extreme paranoia, they'll start hallucinating and obviously go into full-blown psychosis. Drug counsellor Tabitha Corsa says relapse is common and part of the rehab process for ice addicts. Men in their mid-30s usually reach a point where they go, I just can't do this anymore. I really want to change. Meth-induced psychosis can last three days, but addicts do recover. Ben Cousins and his family are in ongoing contact with the AFL Players Association. They've been given support in the past few months. We've got a national network of clinical psychologists that the players can access and that's fully funded by the Players Association. All AFL players donate a small portion of their salary to help former players. He's been running all year. Despite causing some commotion through the streets of Canningvale, which saw him jumping on the roof of this double-storey home, there is still some sympathy for the Brownlow medalist. And addiction uh, can lead to uh, erratic, sometimes violent behaviour. And uh, I just hope that uh, Ben and anyone else addicted can get through that period. And Ben Cousins could be charged with a string of offences over yesterday's incident. Tracy, what happens now? Well, Tim, it could be at least another 24 hours before he is deemed fit and discharged. But detectives are still yet to speak to him at length about what happened in Canning Vale. But he could be charged, as you mentioned, with uh, reckless driving, trespassing and also evading police. In a strange twist to this story, his uh, former partner and the mother of his child, Maylee Tinichev, is facing court tomorrow on unrelated drug charges. Tim.